Nothing anybody won't tell me. You see, uh, Bello Matawale, Minister of State Defense, former governor of Zafara State. Oga, that guy have a lot to tell us about insecurity inside this country. Ta, he get news. He cannot say that he does not know anything about it. Na lie. He cannot. For the fact, say he even get more. Come on, top national TV, they tell us how he negotiated with bandits, terrorists, to release people during his time as governor. Oga, okay? that guy have a lot to say. And look at it. Who was negotiating with bandits and terrorists? Paying millions. 500 million, 1 billion. He is now in charge of your armed forces. Only in Nigeria. He is now in charge of the armed forces, Minister of State Defense. Now then they control everything. Um, can you, I, I don't know if you are understanding what I'm saying. He come out, pop and play, he no hide up. He say he did negotiate with bandits. He did negotiate with terrorists so that they go release people. And if you ask me, or oh God forget it too. Now then they orchestrate, orchestrate the, the kidnap. Now then they orchestrate the, 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 the uh, whatever that is happening with the bandits and terrorists inside, inside their domain. So that they will have every avenue to release money and thief money. How will you tell me that within your domain, as the chief security officer of your state, you no not get power to risk your people? Not that they have been taken outside of the terrorist is there in your state. Chief security officer of your state, you no get power. Abacha Tokam now. He said, if insecurity lasts more than 24 hours, government hand there inside. Now, what about Matawale Koma? He said, he, 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 he negotiated with bandits. He eh, say he, he doesn't have any choice that, that to negotiate with them. And he recorded some kind of success. He, he couldn't even give us an example of Buhari. Say, even Buhari time, he negotiated with the uh, uh, Boko Haram for the release of some of the Chibok girls. Okay, did they release all of the Chibok girls? Okay, they negotiated for the secret cows among the Chibok girls to be released. Others should die there. Was Lee Shuaibu released? No, they don't release him. But they paid the ransom. Now, I don't know, I don't know what he intends to. I go play the video for now and I go hear him with an ear. Let me say I carry fake news. When I go hear him as he, he they advise him. If I talk, I say now what did him do as per governor Zamfara State? We work for him. I don't know what I want to duplicate him for national level. As Minister of State Defense, may they go to negotiate with terrorists, full and men, ungun known men, unknown government, kidnappers, even a uh, Ndoshi, uh, Ndoshi, uh, this uh, Ndoshi Amo uh, in Abuja because they're thief prick now. So you go to negotiate with the same minute, not thief prick. Give them one minute. When I go here, I'm inside the video, I won't play for one. Not you, I won't tell me. Bello Matawali have a lot to say about insecurity. Eh, may go me, Minister of Defense. May go me, Hula. All those guys now, if they call them, their names one after the other, and when I go know who to catch. I, 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 I get it. When I go know who to catch and charge for terrorism inside this country, go and who your minister of defense, Belu Matawali. I give you Belu Matawali and his recent revelation on terrorism inside this country. I go see on Aletangwa. Watch this video. Let me tell you. Yes, I. I initiated the reconciliation dialogue because when I became a governor. I look at this and you know what is happening. Why bandits are killing people in the forest? So, I was thinking the best way to tackle the situation. So, I have been getting a lot of advice from different sector, which I ended off to call a stakeholders meeting at that time. I called the traditional rulers, I call the religious leaders, the security agencies, the leaders of the Pulani, the leaders of the NSAKE. That is the vigilante group. I will hear from each group differently. I do not combine them together. So after we now finish discussions, I now sat down with the security agencies of the state then. I remember security agencies comprise police, army, DSS, immigration, all of them, civil defense. So we sat down together based on the recommendations that we have from the people of the state. 
from the traditional rulers. So we, we have a recommendation that the only option that time is for us to dialogue with the bandit. Was it a success? Did it work? Let me tell you, that is, that is the recommendations we have. The, after I sat down with all the security agencies, they are alive. We have the, uh, some of the CPs, the uh, rose to the rank of uh, DIGs and some AIGs, they are all alive. We have some of them who are now retired generals, they are there. So which, after we get this recommendation, we say, okay, now, the best way, let's go for the dialogue as recommended by the traditional institutions, by the religious leaders of the state, by the stakeholders of the state, by all the leaders of the state. I have no option as to do that, because it's better for me than to see bandit killing my subjects, killing individuals in the state. So when we enter into this dialogue, that was where we recorded a lot of successes. We recovered a lot of ammunitions. And we secured the release of abducted persons in thousands. The record is there. And let me tell you what they are saying. Most of them, they forgot. Even President Buhari, when he went to get the Chibo girls, you shall remember, what did he do? What did he do with the Boko Haram during his tenure? He now, you know, uh, reconciles with the BH and release some of their victims while the Chibo girls were released. And it's a global practice everywhere in the world. That is permissible. If I want my people not to be killed, you can enter agreement with those people so that you can store the release of those innocent people. What is happening now between Israel and uh, uh, Palestine? Is the same thing. They are now begging the uh, Palestine to release their... That is... But considering... Do you understand? So now, if people are saying that because of that... Everybody in Nigeria knows that there was a time that initiated, I initiated the dialogue. Yeah. That's the time that I did that. And I have no regret for that because I recorded a lot of success then. How many people, including some foreign nationals, I secured the release of them without paying ransom, without paying single cargo. Let me give you an episode. A junior brother to the other one was kidnapped seven months before I took over. He was kidnapped. His name is Yusuf. After we initiated this dialogue, they, they requested about 500 million ransom, which they were supposed to pay. But it was based on this dialogue, this person was released unconditionally without paying a ransom. Go and ask. The record is there. Did they know this? Because some of them seem to say no. That it is our, they everybody, no, this is in a public domain. It is not meant for him to accept that the record is there. The people of Zampara can testify to that. They can testify to that. Not me. I cannot be judge of myself. Then you should go and ask the people of Zampara. The record is there. The record will not lie. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocent Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization, each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads. I beg, if you like this update, subscribe to my channel. I beg, I beg, Biko, Ejo, Da Allah. <laughs> subscribe.